Hey everyone, so I hope your line is okay, so I couldn't really find anywhere to film this. Um, I'm hoping it's okay, but yeah, I feel like I look really like 3D, <laughs> I don't know. But I have a haul for you guys today, and I've tried filming this haul like 200 times, like I'm not even joking you, but it just keeps going wrong, and I figured that I'd film it when I'm home alone, and I am. So I'm going to film it right now. Sorry about the background. I know it's not very interesting, but I couldn't really find anywhere that had good lighting and a nice background. So I'm going to work with it. But you got the vision of my vision, the view of my brother's room. And then the bathroom is right here. So, yeah. So it's a really small kind of collective haul. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos today just because it's Saturday and I have nothing to do really. I was going to go to my ba my best friend's baby shower, um, but we're not having it till Thursday now, so that's fine. And yeah, so I'm going to show you um, some stuff that I got from my new online um, store, which is going to be officially open on the 25th of January next year. Which isn't long if you think about it, it's like only like two, three months. Um, I started collecting some stuff together. Basically, it's going to be our homemade accessory store. There's going to be phone cases, um, necklaces, earrings, rings, all that stuff. So, my auntie ordered me some stuff off of eBay, and this is where it came in. The seller that she got it from is called Curious Cleo. He also has a website, curiouscleo.co.uk. I'm going to show you what she got me. I wasn't expecting it at all. Like, she's such a nice auntie. So, she got me some bits and pieces for earrings. So, let me know if you'd like to see these on the website if you'd be interested. If not, I'm going to make them into something else. So, she got me the earrings, like the backs to them. Basically, it came with the little butterflies. These are just like. Ooh. These are just like little plastic ones. And then it comes with a load of the earrings that you make things onto. Um, they just look like drawing pins. So yeah. She got me them. And I think she told me they were about 2 50 And postage and packaging was about like £1 if you live in the UK, I think. And then she got me some roses different coloured roses to stick on them. She got me these pink ones. They're a really pretty colour. They're not really showing up true to colour on camera. Maybe if I get one out you'll be able to see it. I feel like I look really weird. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a pink. And I'm thinking of making these like into earrings. So let me know if you'd be interested. And then she got me the same, but in this like turquoise colour, which I really like. Again, it's not really showing up true colour, it's more greener than what it's showing up. And then she got me like big purple ones, so you can see the size difference. And they just look like this. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. You just get it in and out. And I'm going to make these into rings and necklaces as well. And they're going to be on the back of phone cases too. So if you're interested in that, then let me know. This is what it looks like once it's all stuck together. I'll be on the earring. Let's see if I can hold this up. Yeah. It'll be like that on the earring. Ooh. So yeah. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. I'm still going to make them anyway because I've had a lot of friends that are interested on my website. So, um, once it's all open and stuff and up and running, I'll definitely do a video on it all. Um, I've got some business cards coming through in the post. So, yeah. That's what my auntie got me from eBay. And I'll put the website down below. But you can also find them on him on eBay because that's where my auntie is at this stuff. And then the other stuff I wanted to show you is from Boots. Me and my friend went to Boots on Wednesday evening. And um, so, how long ago? Like three days ago. And I picked up a few things that I wanted to try out. So the first thing I got is a new lipstick for the winter. Because basically my lipsticks are more like summery, like pinks and 
bright pinks and all that girly thing. So I picked something from that one in vintage pink. And the top kind of came off because um, when I put it in, it went onto the bottom of the lid. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, this is the colour, and I've already worn it a couple of times, and I really like it. It's just like a dusty, rosy, pinky colour. It's so pretty, and it's really, it just has winter, like, screaming out. And what I like about it is it's not too, like, it's not too bright, so, like, you're not going to look like a freak with, like, purple lips. So I really like this, and it has little... Oh, this is the Moisture Renew one in Vintage Pink. So, yeah, I love that. Then I picked up a new foundation, thinking that it would be good. I got quite a few things from Collection 2000, actually. I got their Last Imperfection foundation because... I pick up? Okay. I'm really sorry. Because everyone likes their, fa their concealer, the Last Imperfection concealer, so I thought I'd try out the foundation, and it's in, I got mine in Honey. This was about £5, I think, and I hate it. This stuff is awful. It says it's meant to have flawless coverage, anti-transfer, SPF 20, and it's meant to be oil-free. And, I mean, it is like all of them, but when you put it on, it just blodges, like into blodges like does that make sense it just doesn't blend properly and i tried doing it with my hands i've tried doing it with a sponge i've tried doing it with a foundation brush nothing works for this foundation and i really don't like it so i think i'm going to stick with my maybelline one but yeah i don't like this so kind of a little review so then i picked up another rimmel london spay matte press powder in transparent because I love these and they're always like on sale, like like on special offer. So I picked up another one. Yeah, this is like my everyday powder. Then I got two more things from Collection 2000. I got their Collection 2000 Shimmer and Shade, and this was in the um like sale reduced section. And this was only like £2.50 I think, and I went round to the actual like Collection 2000 display, and these weren't there, so I don't really know. So the, this one's in Just Peachy, and it's just basically like a highlighter, I have it on today, not that you're going to be able to see, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I think I use this in my everyday makeup routine, I'm not really sure, but this is what it looks like. And it looks like I've used a lot, but when I first got it, it wasn't pigmented, so I had to like scrape the first layer. It also has like pinky flowers, which just look like that, but I just used the white bit. But you could use it all together. So yeah, I really like that. And these were three for two, so yeah, I got this three. And this is the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. And this is what it looks like. And I've already tried this, and it's okay, but I don't know what I feel about it yet, how I feel, I just, I think I need to try it a little bit more, um, to give you like a proper review, so if you want a review on this, then let me know. Yeah, it's okay, the first time I used it, it kind of just splodged a little bit, but I think I'm getting the hang of it, I'm not really sure. <laughs> then I got, um... The number 17 Photo Flawless Skin Primer. And I've been wanting to try this for a while because a lot of people like rave about it on YouTube. And this is only £5, so I thought I'd try it. Again, I don't really know what to say about this yet. It's a really, really weird product. Like, you put it on and it almost feels like it's disappeared, like into your skin, it just disappears. But then, if you keep blending, like, it almost feels like it's a bit oily. I'm not really sure, but I'll show you what it looks like. I've used it twice now. But that is what it looks like. And then you blend it. And it kind of just goes. It kind of just disappears. But it has been making my foundation stay on longer. And so far, I do quite like it. But I think this tube is tiny for £5. But it's small. 
And then the last thing I got was a Impulse Body Spray in Goddess. And every time you bought a Impulse Spray, you got a free Barry and Lip Gloss. So I got this one, and it's just a blend of exotic oriental scents and citrus notes. And it smells good. It's really sweet and nice. And then I got the free Barry and Lip Gloss in Nude, and it has some shimmer to it. I really like this. It smells so good. But it's not too nude. It's just more of a pinky nude. I'll give you a swatch. The consistency of these are really nice. They're not sticky. They're just the right consistency. And there is that. I love this. So yeah, that is everything I got in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry I haven't uploaded again in a while. But I've just had it ground, like, coming out of my ear holes. I've got another one on Monday. And then one on Wednesday. So um, I'm going to try and film as many as I can today and tomorrow because I'm not, I have nothing planned this weekend, just revision really. But I'm going to try and put that aside and um, get some videos done because I really enjoy doing it. And I need to do my top five favourite mascaras, um, mascaras, blushes I mean. And then I need to do some more of them because I've just been planning a load of videos that I want to do. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, any reviews, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all having a good Saturday if you live in the UK or wherever you are. I hope you're having a good day or a good evening. So I'll speak to you all soon. And yeah, remember to request and subscribe. Bye everyone.